Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Haley. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial using all the products that I bought from TJ Maxx in my last video. So if you guys would like to see if these products work from TJ Maxx, then please keep watching. Alright everybody, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to make a disclaimer right now. It is super, super hot in my filming room right now, so excuse me if I start sweating, but I have my handy dandy beauty blender here and I'm just going to be patting my face basically probably the whole entire time because it is hot in California. So I tried to film this in the morning right now so it doesn't get as hot as later on, but let me shut up so we can go ahead and get started. So I already applied face primer, I also did foundation, moisturized and everything like that and I already threw on my brows because all the products that I got from TJ Maxx I didn't get a foundation or brow products. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So because I already have my cream products on my face right now I don't want to go in with the Kat Von D powder just yet that I want to test out for underneath my eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this cream contour. And this is actually the one that I found from TJ Maxx that I mentioned in my last video. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick. They, it's a foundation, but it's actually a contour stick. And it's in the shade Fawn. And again, I mentioned this in the last video, so I will link it down below. But normally this is about, I think, $20 or something like that. Maybe $18. And I got it for $9.99. So such a great price. But this is what it looks like right here. It's a super nice contour color. And I'm going to go ahead and try it out. Off first hand, it does seem really nice. It's super creamy. And I'm pretty sure I was looking up to see if these products were like janky products and that TJ Maxx and Marshalls just kind of give them out, but they're not the actual products. But they actually are the actual products is what I'm noticing, which is super nice. So I'm going to go ahead and just contour my head. I will say that this shade Fawn is a little bit more gray than what I'm used to. So we're going to see how this looks in the end. I'm not going to really give a whole spiel on what I think of all the products right now. I'm just going to apply them like I would with my make with my regular makeup routine. So I'm going to go ahead and just take this Real Techniques buffing brush and just kind of buff it into my skin just because I don't want to have any harsh lines. But so far it's blending out super well. I mean look at that. As you guys can tell, I had a harsh line like this before, and now it blended out, and it's really sculpting out my face. So for $10 at TJ Maxx, when normally at Sephora or, like, online, it's even more than that, I would definitely say to go to your local TJ Maxx and try to find this contour stick. On the forehead, it's blending out really well as well. Again, I will be putting bronzer on top of this, but unless you guys just want to go for that dewy look then I would definitely say that this looks like it would last a long time on the face. Now, I don't really contour my jawline or anything like that, but you definitely can. So let's go ahead and move on to the powder portion. So I think I forgot to mention, but I did already put concealer underneath my eyes before this video as well when I was putting on my brows and foundation. So now that we've already cream contoured and I'm loving that Anastasia contour stick, it looks so good on my skin. I'm really impressed. So now we're going to go in with our powder products. So I'm going to try the Kat Von D Lock It Brightening Powder. I got this for $7.99 at TJ Maxx, as I mentioned in my previous video, which I was super excited about because I've been wanting to try it. So this is in the shade Golden. I already took it out of the packaging and I have it right here. I just put a little bit into the cap and now I'm going to go ahead and take my handy dandy little brush here and just tap a little bit of it in here. I'm using my Morphe M438 brush and again I'm just kind of tapping off that excess because I don't want a ton of powder underneath my eyes. And this is supposed to help brighten so I'm going to do one side and then we're going to look at the other side with just the concealer and see if it brightened. So far, it's not making my under eyes super powdery, which is great because normally I feel like with these heavier powders that there is a lot of kickback on being super heavy underneath the eyes, but I'm appreciating what it's doing for underneath my eyes right now. Now, I might have gotten a shade too dark if I wanted to really brighten up underneath my eyes, but hopefully you guys can tell just a little bit of a difference. This side definitely looks like it's set and not as dewy as this side. This side's definitely more matte. 
but I will definitely say compared to this other side, it's definitely brightened it up just a little bit, but I think that I could have went about a shade or two lighter <clears throat> if I really wanted to brighten it up. So I'm going to go ahead and go off camera and brighten up the other side, and we'll be back to do the rest of the makeup. All right, everybody, so I went ahead and applied my bronzer and also my blush already just because those weren't products that I bought at TJ Maxx. So I went ahead and just applied my everyday bronzer and blush. And while I was doing it, I totally forgot about what I bought here from Marshalls, which was the Anastasia Liquid Glow Highlighter in the shade Peach Fuzz. And normally you want to put this on when you have just your foundation on and your cream products and not all the powders that I just put on. But I am going to put this to the test and hopefully it still works with the little bit of powder that I did put on my face. But this is what it looks like here. I did get it for $9.99 and normally I think it's about $15 or $18. So definitely a steal at Marshalls. It comes in super cute packaging, and I'm just going to go ahead and apply just the tiniest bit to the back of my hand. I honestly put, like, the babiest drop ever on the back of my hand, as you guys can tell. And I'm going to go ahead and just put this onto my cheekbones. And what this is supposed to do is it's supposed to help highlight the areas where the sun would normally hit the face. And I'm going to go ahead and apply a powder highlight on top as well. So again, if you guys just want that dewy look, you can go ahead and just leave this cream on there and not put a powder highlight on top. But I always love putting, of course, extensive amounts of highlighter everywhere on my face. But so far, honestly, this is doing so well on top of powder. I'm really impressed. So you guys could, of course, apply just what's left over on your cupid's bow to highlight that maybe a little bit on the nose. I just like to go all out with highlighter. But so far, so good. Again, I will go ahead and give you guys the full rundown of what I think of all the products at the end. But I'm going to go ahead and apply my powder highlight now, and then we'll get back to the rest of the makeup. So the next product that I found at TJ Maxx, I was about to say Marshalls, but TJ Maxx, was this Anastasia Single Eyeshadow in the shade Sunset. So I already went ahead and applied a nice neutral crease color, as you guys can already tell, off camera just so this video is not overly long. And I want to test this out on my lid. I'm super excited. Let's see if I can even get this open. I'm super excited to see, oh, there we go. Super excited to see what this single eyeshadow looks like because, again, I've been really wanting to try out their single eyeshadows. I used to use them on clients all the time at Sephora, and this shade just looks so beautiful, and I couldn't pass it up. The pricing on this was only $4.99, and normally they are $12 at Sephora. So definitely a steal on saving money. So this is what it looks like right here. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's a super pretty bronzy, almost like a champagne-y type of color. I'm really bad at describing stuff sometimes. So I'm going to go ahead and just take that on a flat brush. And we're going to go ahead. I'm going to do it first without any setting spray. And we'll see how pigmented this eyeshadow is. And then if we need to intensify it a little bit more, I'm going to go ahead and put a setting spray on top of this. So I'm super excited to see how this works. Oh my god. Do you guys see that? Hopefully that is picking up on camera because this is beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and just apply this all over the lid. Honestly, you guys, there is no fallout either. This is insane. Okay, I'm going to apply a little bit more onto my brush. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of carve it out with the crease. That's honestly why I really like these flat brushes too because you can really just get in there and kind of do the little half circle motion. But you guys, this is so pretty. I definitely did not need any setting spray. I mean, look at this. This is honestly so incredible. I mean, that just made my blue eyes pop so much. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go off camera and do this to the other eye, and we'll be right back to apply our lashes and mascara and everything. So I just stepped off camera, I applied my mascara, false lashes, and I smoked out a little bit of the outer corners of my eyes with some Morphe eyeshadows. So I just applied my Morphe lip liner as well in the shade Chippy, just to have a nice outline to the lips before we go ahead and apply the last product that I bought at TJ Maxx, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Matte Lipstick in the shade Buff. I'm super excited to try this out as well. As I mentioned in my other video, this is about $7.99, and normally they're, I think, 
around $12 or $16. I'm not positive. They might even be $18, but I'm really excited to try this out, and hopefully the shade is beautiful. So let me go ahead and show you guys. It came in all the packaging. Nobody had used it yet. It's this pretty nude brown shade. So let's go ahead and apply it to our lips and see what it looks like. So I can't really talk when applying lipstick, but right off the bat, it definitely feels matte just when I'm applying it. It's a little bit tougher to put on than like a regular lipstick. The shade is super pretty though. So I'm really impressed with this formula and with it only being, what did I say, $7.99 from Anastasia is amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and give my final thoughts now on all these products and let you guys know if they were worth it or not from TJ Maxx and one from Marshalls. So this Anastasia Liquid Glow honestly is so amazing. As you guys can tell in the video when I was applying it, even over a powder products, it still went on so beautifully and I'm so impressed. So definitely if you have a Marshalls near you, go ahead and check out their beauty section. This was only $9.99 again, and this is in the shade Peach Fuzz. I'll try to link everything that I got down below. It'll probably be from the Sephora website or wherever I can find it, but this was so amazing. The next product that actually blew me away as well was the contour stick in the shade Fawn. This I did get at TJ Maxx, so if you have a local TJ Maxx near you, definitely check out their beauty section because this was only $9.99, and I'm pretty sure this is normally around $15 to $18, which to me is a lot, and I'm saving $8 to $5, so I'm pretty impressed, and I was really excited to try this one. The next one, which I was super excited to try as well, was the Kat Von D Locket Brightening Powder. I got mine in the shade Golden, and as I mentioned in the video, I probably could have went with the shade one or two lighter if I really wanted to brighten up underneath the eyes, but I'm not one to really have like a white under eye, so this was actually perfect for me. I definitely feel like it helped brighten it just a little bit more, and honestly, it does not look powdery at all, which to me looks flawless for only $7.99, and it's a Kat Von D product, when normally I think it's around $15 right now, normally $25. I'm not too sure. I know Sephora was having a sale on them, so definitely check these out on the Sephora website or get them at your local TJ Maxx, but with it being $7.99. Now, this product was the one that I think just stole the show, honestly, from being $4.99, and normally I think these are like $12 at Sephora, or on the Anastasia website. This single eyeshadow in the shade Sunset is honestly incredible. I mean, you guys, look at this on my lids. No setting spray needed. I know, right? No setting spray needed. It's so pigmented, so metallic. If you guys have a local TJ Maxx near you, go check out to see if they have the Anastasia single eyeshadows. And last but not least is this lipstick. I have to take one more look at it because it's such a beautiful color. As you guys can tell, it's definitely matte. And of course, I applied a matte lip liner underneath it, which makes it extra matte. But this was in the shade Buff, and it was only $7.99, where normally I think these are about $18. So yeah, if you guys have a local TJ Maxx, again, check this out for the Anastasia liquid lipstick, liquid lipsticks, matte lipsticks, because you guys don't want to miss out on this product. Well, that concludes the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you like this makeup look, also leave a comment down below letting me know which product that you would love to try or that you have tried from TJ Maxx, because I would love to go there on another hunt. Maybe I can vlog it for you guys if you want to see me going and kind of scavenging through all their beauty products at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. But other than that, if you guys haven't subscribed already, please hit that red button on the side and also the little notification bell as well since that will notify you every time that I upload. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye!